everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Mechanobot, a, ooh, a auto battler roguelike that I played the demo of a long time ago, really enjoyed, has improved dramatically over the last X number of months, and I finally figured out how to actually get it to work so that I might actually have a chance. Uh, the question is, uh, I started doing a run, and, ooh, I started doing a run, and we have a mod to start with. So do we want all burning damage dealt by robots is increased by 100%, blaster robots Attack speed increased by 30%. Do I want that burn? Do I want blast size or chain killed enemies explode? I'm gonna... I'm gonna go blast because I think I have blast. Or no, that's a driller. Wait, I gotta take a look at my mods. Left bumper. So blaster robots. Oh, blaster robots are like these guys. No, that's an exploder. Well, I guess I'll grab the driller. Do we grab the bomber? I guess I can grab the bomber. Grab all of them. Okay, and ready up. Perfect. So. Huh. Oh, that's how that works. So I have to hold the... I have to hold the pickup button. But I can't already be holding somebody. Oh, that's weird. Okay, but now I can actually move my whole crew. At least somewhat comfortably. I think this is my... This might be why I want to grab... Um... This might be why I want to grab... Some burners. A little bit late, obviously, on that, but that's fine. I understand how this magnet works now. This should be a lot easier. Okay, cool. So, Sun Paladin, Scorcher, Mechanic. Deals 8 damage to nearby enemies and inflicts burning. Each of the Sun Paladin's attack heals the lowest health robot for 5. Holy shit, that's good. He's kind of expensive, but he's probably worth it. Okay, so the real answer is, I can't pick up a robot, then you... Nope. I don't know, I have no real answers. Everything is weird. I'll... I'll just get used to it once my muscle memory triggers. Yeah, being able to pick up every robot at once is super helpful, considering I can, uh... uh let's see, I can move them around as, like, a giant crew. It's probably more practical that I kind of spread out the group a little bit. And yeah, we might want to sell some of these real quick and not be near that AoE. Yeah, having, having the Sun Paladin who can actually just repair people, even just beyond having all of the extra... Here, let's move these in. I'll probably still get rid of the Driller uh, in favor of some more fire. There we go. Yeah, just scoot these a little closer. There we go. Okay. Move that there. Stop being rude. Oh, nope. Stop being rude. But I keep trying to pick him up, but I keep failing at it. Whatever. Repair mod. Wrench healing increased by 50%. Third wrench heals 200% more. Or 15% chance for two wrenches to spawn. Um... I mean, the empowered remote is probably my best best bet here. And we do have interest that we have to worry about. Okay. Driller. Five damage to nearby enemies. We do have the Ray, who I could sell back. Can I sell everything back for a full price? Maybe. Looks like it. Okay, what else do we have? Globot, who's nuclear. Seeker, moving area. So we still don't know what Blast is. And I could buy a remote if I wanted to. Interest. Interest earned per round increased by 1 per 5 gold, up to a max interest of 5. So we want to get above 25 reasonably soon. So in that case, why don't we... Why don't we do the, the wild option? I'm just gonna sell everybody except for the Sun Paladin. Dude should be able to just heal himself.
and just can set things on fire. He's not the most powerful, but he's got a good AoE, and he's largely untouchable. Okay, if my controller... Okay. <laughs> if my controller decides to work with me here. Maybe I'm gonna just try keyboard and mouse for this one. I should be able to move perfectly fine one way or another. What is this? Oh. Oh, that's like a enemy landmine. Yeah, this will be fine. My Bluetooth dongle has not been great. Unfortunately, Bluetooth dongles are like one of those things that... I don't, uh... Oops. There we go. Bluetooth dongles are one of those that you buy, like, off of Amazon. Like, I've never seen, like, a reputable brand for Bluetooth dongles. It's always just, like, I don't know, some random garbage. And then it doesn't work well. I should not have sold all of my units. I was hoping that this guy would do way more damage than he does. The answer is, I mean, he's kind of nice, but he's very clearly, like, kind of a support tank. If I pick him up, okay. Yeah, I guess the other thing we might want to do... Let's just get rid of some of those. We might just want to leave him here. We'll have plenty of damage. Okay, scoot this here. Looks like we've got another group of regular dudes. And yeah, the fire is destroying this volcano. Not quickly, but it is... it's going down. <laughs> I should have duplicated or doubled my fire damage. That would have been so good. See, I don't even I don't even know what quantifies blast damage. Cause I don't think it was the exploders. But it could have been. I think I actually hit my own robot there. Whatever. Dude dude is a tank. He does tank things just very slowly. If your computer has slots, you can actually get a, um... You can actually get a PCIe, uh, Bluetooth device. Wait, really? I'll have to look into that. I, I think, um, there was a period of time where I wasn't being particularly discerning about the stuff that I bought, um, off the internet. You know, it's like, oh, it's on Amazon and it's got good reviews. Okay, I'm not gonna pay attention to the brand. Uh, because I kind of assumed that... Uh, I kind of assumed that Amazon actually had a vested interest in um, making sure that shitty products weren't sold on its storefronts. Uh, yeah, that was that was wrong. That was the that was the incorrect take. And so I have a, I have an amount of things uh, that I've picked up over the years that like I actively just never should have. Ow, that yeah, that did some damage. Yeah, they did at one point, not anymore. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so I get a bunch of money. Uh, gain a hack mod. Projectile bounce, projectile damage, area attack size and damage, or robot health. Ooh, that's tough. I think I'm gonna go for area hack, because that's actually pretty useful. Uh, and let's go to the store. What can we buy? Well, we could get Ember. Driller, Magical, Scorcher. Shield boost. Booster robot gains a shield that prevents lethal damage once per round. Robots can only have one boost equipped at a time. Oh, that's interesting. I like the boosts. I just don't care in the moment. Okay, do we have anything else? No, but we do have more fire. Which should make this a little easier. Some higher-end motherboards come with Bluetooth already integrated. Yeah, I think on my next, uh... My next computer, I will... Oh! That's what those things are. The landmines specifically... ...are a trap for when I'm doing the magnet pull. Oh, that's interesting and really awkward. Yeah, so there are magnets that spawn constantly that will pop up to hit me and punish me for using the magnet pull near them.
probably better to just leave him in the front as kind of a as a proper tank. Luckily, like, we do actually have a lot of healing that I can kind of rely on. Now, this guy needs to be within range to actually hit anything, otherwise it doesn't work. Okay. I understand now. This makes more sense. Okay. I meant to have him elsewhere, but honestly, it's fine. Now, is that wave actually going to hit my Bernie boy? The answer is no. Oops. Snag him. And just keep shuffling things around. I still kind of feel like uh, being able to move my units around is an odd choice. It makes sense, but I almost kind of wish it was more of just kind of like set both crews against each other and just see how they perform. Um, rather than trying to... Uh, pick my units up to, like, have them dodge in a way. It makes sense. It just ends up being a lot of, like, weird micromanagement movements. But at least having an engineer means I don't have to, uh, or a mechanic character means I don't have to spend nearly as much time, uh, panicking for wrenches. You're actually having trouble finding decent projects or products anymore. Uh, oops. Move these here. Snag the extra wrenches. We're good. And most of the things I buy now are from word of mouth or from talking to Discord people. I I've started buying a little bit more uh more stuff from. Let's see. Ooh, cannoneer blaster. There we go. Let's grab a let's grab a blaster. And let's grab the next level of ember. Oh, what is this? Gold boost. Boosted robot earns two gold every round. Robots can only have one boost at a time. Sure. Who do I put it on? Uh I'll put it on Bernie Boy. But yeah, been buying more from um from Best Buy just because at least there's some level of like a I don't want to say an accountability there because there really is not okay he's taking too much damage for reasons but like otherwise for major online retail I've pretty much just stopped it unless I can like for sure guarantee that the uh, the brand that I'm buying is the correct one even so what did I... what was I trying to buy? I was try, trying to buy some product or another, and it was straight up just like a fake listing pretending to be X or Y... X or Y thing. It was like a camera or a... nah, I don't even know. I'm just gonna stack all these guys right here. Focus most of my efforts on just defending that corner. And maybe I should actually go for the better wrench. We'll see. Okay, so do we want to get... Well, Scattershot, also a blaster. Projectiles in every direction that do two damage each. Well, what's... What's the blast bonus? Robot class. Okay, all robots gain increased attack speed. Ooh. Versus this one. All robots attacks gain a chance to inflict burning. I mean, we kind of want both of them. We're going to lose a little bit of interest, but it's probably fine. I don't know what these red areas are. If that's like a spawn zone or something. Also, don't remember if there's... A, ah, I can have up to five robots. Oh, attack speed upgrade. Oh, but that's only 3%. I think we can do better than that. Okay, at least I actually have an attacking crew now.
Okay. Avoid that. Grab the mine. Grab the wrench. Move the cannon boy in. But the problem is I can't get close to this sucker. At least this guy can kind of have in the back just acting as a um, as a healer. Let's grab, grab those. I mean, boss is going down pretty quickly. The problem is this guy has such pitifully low range. Well, I wanted to pick him up, but the magnet grab didn't work and made me take a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Boss is dead, though. Alright. So what do we want? Slowed enemies, slowed an additional 15%. Elemental robots attack speed increased by 25%. Robots have a chance to inflict uh, burning. Dealing an additional 100% damage over time. Is that everybody? Can I... I think I'm going to go for the burning bullets just for even more burning. Uh, just to see what happens. Okay. Let's see, we have another gold boost. Do I want another gold boost, though? Not overwhelmingly. The one problem was this guy. His range is shockingly small. I was expecting a lot more out of the... the, uh... scatter shot. I'm curious about this guy. Does he have a limited number of, or a limited range? Or does he just fire forever? I don't know. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we just make do with what I've got? I could, I could fit one more robot. Why don't we just, why don't we just grab the, uh, spiral for the time being? Who also seems to be incredibly short range. Well, we'll make it work. I definitely want to get some more mechanics. That bit's helpful. Yeah, the one problem is this game really does kind of incentivize me to just move my robots near constantly. And so I can't really form much of a defensive wall. It's almost better for me to just, nope, don't pick up everybody. Or don't just pick up one, get everybody. There we go. Like, I wish I could almost, uh, change my formation, uh, that they're being, that are being put out. Okay, move them over here. I think we might have picked up a... A landmine? I'm not entirely sure. Like, if I had a bunch of marksmen, I think this might be going better. We might, we might want to try that. Either, like, all marksmen are all melee or a radioactive. Okay, let's get rid of every single one of these landmines. There you go. Snag that. The spiral is interesting. I like, like the idea of it as well, but it's, it's very easy for this crew to just get kind of clobbered. Okay, let's... Stay away from the volcanoes. Actually, let's go over to this one. Nope. <laughs> let's try and go over to this one. Yeah, so I think what I need to do is just kind of routinely deposit them uh, near the... Ow. Closest potential victim. Okay, so far so good. Got it. Okay, do we want more of that or more of this? I think we want more of this. Oh no, I can get both. Perfect. Okay, now I have a lot of interest in... Oh, hello. Cannot be pushed or suffer negative effects. Deals 8 damage to nearby enemies and we have a pair of glow bots. And then we also have the attack speed upgrade. Oh! That's just an uh, overall upgrade. Hold up. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna sell these guys. They don't really help me too much. 
At least not as much as I would have liked. Instead, maybe we try nuclear for a little while. And we can probably re-roll. There is the piercer, but eh. Okay, now I have to stay above 25. Goo tosser. Okay, do we lose anybody else? Yeah, let's lose the uh, cannoneer. I know I have a blaster perk, but... I think the... I think going nuclear might be the better idea. Okay, bomber seeker, trick shot, hunter. Projectile that does 12 damage per second to enemies and pierces three times. Yeah, it looks like you can just freely cycle things out. For better and worse. And let's grab the next Sun Paladin. Damage increased to 16, and healing increased to 10. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him around until we find a better mechanic. Hopefully we can also increase the amount of... Oh. Yeah, it looks like upgrades are just permanent. Uh, they're not the uh, one-off upgrades like the gold upgrade. Which I did get rid of, which I should probably get one of those back. But whatever. Okay. I'm starting to get this a little bit more. It's making a lot of sense. Okay, and we're doing a lot of damage. Okay, so I'm gonna put him in the corner. Oop. Get rid of those. And uh, my Sun Knight's doing fine, and we do a shit ton of damage now. Because every single one of my characters uh, has a 30% chance of burning on top of everything else, which I believe is making that basic damage aura reasonably strong. Okay, nope. Snag them all. We're just gonna go over here. Get rid of the couple of landmines, pick everything up. Not exactly giving me a whole lot of opportunities to uh, build much of a defense or establish my my robots. Ow. At least that doesn't do that much damage. I might want to just kind of keep them where they were. Let's just get the sun pallet and the, and the shield up close. I'm kind of curious. Okay, it looks like the... Looks like the uh, shield just kind of attacks regularly. Okay, keep blocking. Keep trying. No, pick up. Pick up every... Pick up everything. Oh my god. <laughs> Why did I... Why do I do these things? Okay, I gotta check. No. There's no way for me to change my controls, is there? A yeah, magnet pull is space. Oh. Was time pa time passing while I was in the menu? I hope not. Okay. I think we're just gonna kind of chill and wait for... Oh. This guy actually has to be within range to hit something. Otherwise, we don't get any heals. Well, I think we lost one. No, we haven't lost anything yet. Put him behind the shield. The problem is... Okay, it's dead. We got it, finally. That was really scuffed. Uh, let's see, hack mod or gain mod. I think we want to, well, I think we want both. So area size, double attack chance, or extra burning damage to slow amount. I'm going to keep going for area size and damage. Two wrenches appear whenever a robot's defeated. Item choices can be re-rolled multiple times. McKenna bot's move speed is increased. Okay, there we go. Okay, gel bot. Ooh, mechanic. Re enemies take nearby... De yes. Okay, the only problem is limited on the amount of robots that I currently can have. I think I'm going to get rid of this boyo. Good as he is, he's limited on range. Gelbot's going to do far better for me. Okay. Next level of these. Oh, class boost. 
Class boost is interesting. Yeah, I need to I need to stop re-rolling so much. Because those passive upgrades are huge. I like the idea of the class boost. Boy, what am I even supposed to do about this? I mean, mostly just let the uh, new medic bot just heal everything. Because boy, does he. Okay, and then just let the fire tick everything down. All right. I think, I think we're actually in a, oh God. In a semi-comfortable location, which is a very strange statement to make. Because yeah, everything burns and that constant healing from the mechanic bots more or less means we don't have to worry about anything. Okay, cool. I now feel like I can actually do stuff. Let's, uh, let's pay attention to what I'm doing. Health upgrade, max HP on you. And last level of Sun Paladin, yes. Okay, reroll. So we have another health upgrade. Let's see, Conjurer. I mean, some of these would be are really tempting. Oh, that just buys a new remote wrench for me. Don't care. Uh... Yeah, let's increase their attack speed by a bit. We lose a little bit on interest, but it's fine. Unless this is a boss fight. I think this is a boss fight. Eh, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna say it. You know you're not supposed to win, right? You show up, have we have a fun fight, then I squish you, repeat forever. I have a job to do. You're not gonna stop me anymore. I have a job to do, too. I think I've missed some plot. Alright, let's just go hug this guy to death. Or if I can. If I can. Nope. Okay, move those. I'm trying to get rid of the, uh... Trying to get rid of the damage zones if and when I can. Because, yeah, those, those pickup meteors are kind of annoying. Well, at least we're cooking him pretty quick. I'm just gonna leave that guy over here. Because I think this will be easier if I don't have... If I actually have some of my group. Well, that just hurt. Fine. Where's where's a safe spot here? Oh, that's rude. I guess the real trick is pick him up. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. I mean we're winning. Mostly on merit of having good heals. Those damage zones are obnoxious, though, because, like, where the heck am I even supposed to put half my bots? Bot dead, though. There we go. And we get the weird triangle. Hello. Well, and we're going. I don't remember if there was this map the last time I played this. Okay, next level of shield, all robots take less damage, attack increased by 10%. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. What are the class bonuses? Robots get a chance to attack twice, extra attack speed. Neat. Uh, let's see, let's get the next level of shield, and then robot attack speed by 10%. I'm going to keep working on the Hunter. Pro projectile, 12 damage per second to nearby enemies, pierces three times. I feel like, uh, yeah, just stacking a bunch of those on that guy seems really good. Just, wait. You... I'm really curious about the attack speed on the gel bot. Because it's 0.24 per second. I'm assuming that does not affect... Attack speed does not affect them. Ooh, Sun Paladin, though. Maybe we start investing in his attack speed. 
Because if he attacks really fast, we get infinite healing and he does good damage. Okay, is that damage even particularly bad? It's bad enough. Oh, they're stuck there too, unless I pick them up. And not only are they stuck, but they are stunned. Okay, so we, we cannot uh, allow those projectiles to hit us. There we go. Okay. This makes sense. We're actually doing reasonably well. Extra burning damage, double attack chance, or more area. I'm going to keep investing in area. Driller robots, health increased by 25%. Projectiles bounce off the walls twice. Yeah. That's really only good for my shooter, but that's still good. Uh, let's see. Team boost. Plus one max. Team size. I'm... I'm really digging those little passive upgrades. I don't remember if those were in the uh, the game previously, but that is game changing. As long as I actually remember to, you know, do something about them. Nope, nope, thank you. I almost wish the pick up single unit and pick up, oh, you know what I really wish I could do? I wish I could actually pick up my units on a one, one two, three, four, five, and six, or press hold to, like, press and hold spacebar to pick up everybody, because there's, like, a slight AoE when trying to pick up a unit, and then the magnet pickup no longer works, which I think is what was screwing with me the last time, because if you notice, I've got the magnet pickup going, but I'm not picking up anybody else. I wish just pressing and holding in this, uh, like, once I have somebody picked up would then trigger, trigger the magnet, because I, th I think that's what's messing me up the most when playing this game. Okay, so... Any of these good? I could go for a piercer, but no. This is great, though. And is gonna cost me a pretty penny. So let's get the next level of gel bot. And these. And I'm gonna put this here. I wanna see what's is it? 2.58 down to 2.49. Yeah, I think getting this Sun Paladin, who is up to four, uh, four stars, getting him up to the point where he is attacking really quickly could actually become really busted. Okay. Move them here. Nope. Didn't get them all. Perfect. Now we just need to surround this tower. You know, I'm not even sure if this tower does that much damage. No, it does not. I heal plenty, so I can just kill my way through it. It's really this glob. That's the one thing I need to fear. Okay, that and maybe... Standard... Ground AoEs. Alright, cool. And then we can just sit and wail and destroy. You cannot touch me, I'm too powerful for you. Alright, we get another hack. Double attack chance, AoE size, burning him out. No, more AoE. Even if it's, like, not that big, it's still worth it. So there's Fireball, large short range thing. No. Healing boost. Booster robot heals to full after every round. Robots, no. We could go for the Glowbot, or Windrunner. Large piercing projectile, 16 damage. Oh, Power Shot. Damage increases to 32. Robots projectiles receive additional pierces equal to the number of Ranger robots on the team. That might not be the worst idea. Oh, the Windrunner is expensive, too. Okay. And I'm going to buy the attack speed upgrade and put it on my paladin again. I should save some money, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, damn it. Don't pick up 
everybody. Uh. I wanted to pick up everybody, and it keeps only getting a couple. Oh god. Do we just like absolutely beef it there? And eh, not fully. Alright, we'll heal back up to full. This tower cannot stop me. There we go. I'm getting better at picking things up. I mostly just need to remember to actually leave some distance and not eat landmines. Yeah, the other issue is my uh, Healy bot's range isn't quite long enough to get the new marksman, which is an issue. Class boost. New randomly chosen second class. I'm gonna snag it and put it on him. Um. I don't actually know if that's really that good. Magical. Okay, classes. Robots attacks against slow enemies do extra damage. Yeah, that's not really that good. Alas. There's healing boost. Trick shot. But I think we're just gonna... Reroll one more time. Get the next level of gel bot. Damage per second increased to 2 and range increased by 25%. Okay, so that means, hopefully, now everybody's within the Healy zone. Move him to the corner. The shield bot can take it. The other guy's not so much, though. So I think I'm going to want to just keep stacking shield boosts, or class boosts, onto my characters until they line up and we get something really busted. Like, what if everybody was a mechanic? I don't even know what the mechanic class bonus is. The game looks really fun. It's neat. It's it's a little... Uh, oh, how would I describe? Renge's heal one additional robot. Ooh. Yeah, let's go for the teamwork one. Um, It's a little easy for me to get, like, thrown... Uh, or thrown off. Okay, let's go over here for a second discombobulated while I'm playing it, but it is it is really fun, or at least a lot of the ideas are really neat. Ah. Oh, nuclear does actually make it so they take less damage. So you could you could stack nuclear and driller to really not take damage. Useful. Okay, we don't need a remote wrench. I could go for a glow bot, but eh. Just keep going for the attack speed. Put it onto the paladin. This is attack speed down to 2.32, which seems pretty good. One more. And we're out. Okay. There's a boss time yet? No, probably not. Unfriendo in the center. Oop. Hold up. Don't stand in the damage zone. Now, here's the question. Are those beams actually a problem? I don't think so. Okay, that's a problem. Nope, pick up everybody. Thank you. So when he does the big AoE, I need to grab the whole crew. Otherwise, we're safe. Ugh. But I have to wait for that to go. Otherwise, we have problems. Oh, what? Oh, I missed it. If I get hit by that, it is problematic. Nope. Damn it. I guess we could also be back here for a little while. Nope. I'd say so. But it doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Let's grab those wrenches, just wait for a second. Or, you know, just take a shit ton of damage as I eat every... Every single landmine on the ground is fine. Gain a super mod. Projectiles split. When an enemy is burning, they're slowed. Uh, let's see. Area attacks deal extra damage. Persistent area attacks last longer. Ooh. I like the burning slowed. But I think I'm going to go for persistent attacks last longer. Grab the attack speed upgrade. Continue to sleep. Put it on the paladin. 
I just want to get it so the paladin is attacking obscenely fast. Shield boost? No. Goo tosser. Is our oh our goo tosser is not maxed. Okay, and one more. Remote wrench hunter. Our hunter is not maxed either. Alright, and we're mostly ready. Let's take these guys and move them over here. There we go. Alright. Let's hang out over here. Stay away from that projectile. It feels like we're cooking them pretty quickly here. I don't know why my paladin was so injured for that time, but that's fine. Oh, it's because uh, we couldn't do any healing in that situation. Ooh, that, that projectile bounce is, like, really good. There we go. Alright, gain a mod. Nuclear robots have extra health for every nuclear robot on the team. That's pretty good. Burning is uh, burning damage dealt by robots is doubled. Projectiles do more damage. No, we want to go nuclear. Give me all that HP. Burning damage, extra projectile bounces, and damage or more area size. Glowbot health upgrade. I'm actually probably going to stick it on this guy. He's pretty, he's pretty killable. There we go. It's hoping for some more attack speed upgrades, but alas, no dice. Okay. I'm just going to kind of hang out here. Maybe here? The problem is my AoEs aren't quite big enough to take all of them. Okay, now I just have to make sure we don't get hit by that. And he just gets cooked. Alright. We're actually having a decent run here. It's a little scuffed, but it's working. Ow. That's my bad. Luckily, we've got the wrench boosts that should carry us pretty well. Oops. Go just say hi to him. And get back close. Never mind. I think we can just hang while they die. Perfect. Okay, snag this. Extra burning damage, AoE size, robot health. AoE size! Health upgrade. Still don't actually know who's my most vulnerable at this point, but it's probably fine. To just kind of spread the love. Class boost, okay. Do that again. So he is now, ooh, he's a ranger and an exploder. All robots get a chance to attack twice. That, that's actually helpful. And do we roll again? No, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna wait. And my logic is, if I can, oh, hello. Hello there. Hello, any chance you could let me buy? And why would I let you do that now that you're exactly where I want you? Your quest ends here, hero. That's rude. Here, let's let's hug harder. Nope, stay away from that. Just kind of chill. All right, cool. And then go back to being nice and huggy. Hug him to death. Burn him when I can. Hang out and just wait. Should be easy. Because yeah, his regular damage doesn't doesn't scare me. It's the AoEs. That's the problem. And so I think I'm in a pretty good spot as long as I just keep my distance, set him on fire, take care of every landmine, and just make sure he doesn't uh goop up any of my dudes.
It's important not to let him goop dudes. There we go. I could also just hang out in the corner, but we would lose access to many of our AoEs. There we go. Looks like he's just landing again. Perfect. Okay. Got it right before, and he's jumping again. Toast. Grab a couple of those. And he's dead. Perfect. I don't know what that is, but I have it now. And we're on to the final zone. This is way farther than I've ever gotten on this. I... Uh, let's see. Healing boost. Hack... What? That's nice. Uh, War Chief. Driller and Mechanic. 10 damage to all nearby enemies. All enemies target War Chief if possible. Devotion. Projectile that does 8 damage and inflicts sh slow. Shields one random... O Robot from all damage for five seconds. Huh. Guardian shields two robots. Those are interesting. Unfortunately, I'm at six out of six robots, and I don't think I'd remove anybody from the pool. Neat as those, those guys would be. Okay. Okay. Wonder if you ever played the first Risk of Rain. Yup. Right, let's just kind of pile up here. We might actually have to worry about health a little bit. Nope. All right, we're good. I just needed a really dense lineup, and now they can't touch me. There we go. But yeah, I, I've played. Dozens of hours of Risk of Rain 1. You'd have to go check my playlist on YouTube, though. Because it's been a little while. I, I know I played a lot. Uh, let's see. Okay. Gain mod. Mechanic bot heals nearby robots for 5 every 3 seconds during combat. Projectiles do more damage. Uh, I guess I'll go Radiant Glow. Ah, the multi-hack is really tempting, but I'm going to continuously invest in AoE. <laughs> okay, health upgrade. I don't know, put it on big shield for now. F huh. Nearby enemies take three damage per second. Damage increased for every defeated robot. Okay, hold up. I'm sorry, sir. You're interesting. This guy's incredible. Okay, got him down to less than a second. And we're good. Okay. Ready. Grab those so we don't get cooked by the AoE. Come on. Nope. Ah, oh, just in time. Snag them all. Get rid of the landmines. Oop. Move him closer. Oh, those landmines are ill-timed. We might just want to kind of chill for a bit. Let my HP recover. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay. Grab those. Nope. That place is not safe. Oh, did I actually lose somebody? I did. 
Oh no, I, I didn't lose them. I literally lost them. I didn't notice I had left them behind up there. Which is infinitely harder because I can't really damage this guy. Unless I'm close to him without that ranger. Okay. Enemies inflicted with burning, they're slowed. Using a wrench increases its attack speed or plus one max team size. Okay, I could get the Wind Runner back, but I think I'm just gonna not. Good as it good as it is, I bet there's better at this point. Okay, there is the War Chief if I want to grab him. I think I'll just wait. Oh, revive. There we go. Not too costly. Pick up the group. And I think we're good. Hopefully revives do not get that much more expensive. Alright. Uh... Yeah, that looks a little concerning. Hello, sir. Nice hair. Please die to my robots. Hello, Mechanobot. It has been some time. Do I know you? No, but you used to. Either way, your journey ends here. Trying to pick these up. Nope. Is that an AoE around me? No. At least not one that I need to worry about. Uh, uh oh. Get rid of those. Grab a wrench. I just need to make sure that there is not a single uh, bomb on the ground. Because those are rude. And if I pick my team up to avoid a tremendous AoE... Then I want to make sure I have an out. This guy's actually probably one of the easier bosses... Oops. ...in the lineup. There's probably a second phase. Yes. Not only a second phase, there's a second health bar. I don't know if there's a difference in terms of, like, how he fights. I kind of wish the landmines would just blow up on Mechanobot no matter what. Instead of me interacting with them, if they just blow up when Mechanobots, like, walks over them. Okay, there we go. I do kind of wish I could see how on fire this guy was. Like a little fire DPS tracker underneath his max HP. I, I'm throwing out random feedback just in terms of, I don't know, me. I also really wish I knew how much damage my fission was doing. Whoops. And you know what, that's fine. Okay, snag that, put them down. I've made a couple of mistakes here, but none that are none that are run ending. How is this possible? You've never been this strong. What changed? Patches. I think I just got tired of losing. Now excuse me, please. I need to fix the sun. No, you can't. And the trick was all I needed was healers. Damn, the sun paladin did some real damage there. Same thing with the hunter, actually. I then again, I had the Sun Paladin from the start of the run, whereas the Hunter, uh, for like half of it, and he still did as much damage. I really wish I knew how much damage the Fission was getting up to, because it was like three plus number of enemies defeated, which sounds like it could get 
like, hyper broken, if done correctly on certain levels. I'm not entirely sure. It's been many cycles since you've successfully entered the Sun Mechanobot. You've accomplished your function. I've been here before? Not since the Sun King turned their back on the roll. Rather than help, they decided to hinder. They've proven a rather difficult obstacle to overcome. I don't understand. Why don't I remember? It's a side effect of the resetting process. You will not recall this exchange either. A necessary inconvenience. You understand. Goodbye, Mechanobot. I'm hopeful that your next expedition will be as successful as this one. Wait, no. What do you mean my next expedition? I don't... Well... Keep trying, Mechanobot. You must repair the sun. I just did! I know I did! Sun requires repair. You're the only one who can do it, Mechanobot. The entire system hinges on your success. Alright, but I want answers. I guess I'll talk. Theodore, I did it! Repair the sun! Impossible! If that were true, I would have received an official notice of the sun's successful maintenance. So either you got bonked one too many times on the noggin, or my paperwork's out of order. My paperwork is never out of order. Cute. You got really close that time, Mechanobot. Don't worry, you'll repair the sun next time for sure. But I did repair it. I remember doing it, even though I was supposed to forget it. It's all very confusing. Huh. It still looks busted to me, so maybe give it another go just to make sure. Okay, so we have mods. Do we have any worth grabbing? Maybe. Um, I wonder if I can actually equip more mods with the right meta progression. But first, let's... um. Oh, do I have to click on these? Ah. Oh, that added a Berserker. Right, there are some classes to unlock. Expand your team, defeat Slime Armor, Theta Core, and repair the sun. We still haven't defied fate yet, but I'm assuming that's a, uh... That's a post-game thing. Let's see. We did have nuclears on your team. Oh, so having the four gets you the ultimate version. So I'll have to work on that for next time. Mostly, note to self... Uh, repairs are incredibly useful, no matter what. So what do we have? All enemy, all projectiles pierce one. All projectiles bounce. Extra AOE, and I don't know what this is. Double attack chance. Oh, that's worth it. Maybe. What else do we have? Starting capital is extra money, which is good. Uh, let's see. Each level has lets you have more wrenches in the field at one time. Increase their appearance rate. Heals robots by five at the end of combat. Healing by 1% max HP. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for a double attack chance just because. Uh, let's see. Now let's go for the natural bounce. Extra wrenches and wild wrenches. Max those out. All right, cool. I could do more with that, but nah. And we don't know about the last tier of wrench. So what does this one do? Use on robots. Oh, right. I have to actually like bring it over to them, which is not useful. Yeah, it sounds like they're doing the Hades thing of win next time to unlock the actual ending. I'm I'm betting it's actually just once the game's in 1.0, then you get get to that point. I could be wrong. Um but I, I bet the Defy Fate ending is not actually in the game yet. But again, don't know. Oh, there's a ball. Can I do anything with it? No, it doesn't look like it. It certainly doesn't want to move uh in the way that I want it to, so I'm just gonna assume it doesn't work. Well, either way, this has come a long way. Previously, it was legitimately near impossible to win. Now it actually feels a little bit more doable. I do still find it a little frustrating uh, in terms of, like, avoiding enemy attacks. That you get a lot of really stinky AoEs that you have to move your robots out of the way. Which means, for the most part, you can avoid almost all major damage. And so it almost feels like you're juggling your robots rather than um, putting them in interesting positions. I don't know if there's a way to fix it without actually getting rid of the ability to pick up robots. Um, or having like... You could almost have it be like a, a plants versus zombies situation where you put your robots down in lanes and then have to hot swap them if there's like an AOE incoming or something like that. And there's like, you know, hard points where they actually attach to. I could see that working rather than this, but I also recognize that that would take a lot of redesigning that might not work so well. But I really do like it and it's come a long way. I saw saw some of my friends complaining about the meta progression on this, but honestly, just getting one win actually solved half of the meta progression problems. And I'm, I mean, I also know that I can win again, so we'll see. But for now, at least, uh, I'd say let's move on to the next. But I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat dinner.
Thanks for watching, everybody, though. This is fun.